Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today is a little bit of a different app-ish sort of review. Today we're having a look at Power Diary. So Power Diary is an online booking software and it's an online booking software that I personally use in my clinic. And hey, I believe it is a pretty good product. So, but just don't take my word for it. Let's have a little bit of a look at what you can and can't do in Power Diary and a little bit of a look behind the scenes of it as well. For those who are interested in maybe changing over from your previous booking software or coming on board with your very first one because it is an important step as well. This can change a clinic in my opinion because it makes it so easy and a lot less actual paperwork as well. But let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so here we have a look at our Power Diary. So this is the main screen when you log in. So you can see at the top here, I've got two calendars up here. So one for myself and one for our salt room. The salt room one doesn't get booked out very much. That's okay. Uh, I've got it in private mode, which is also a really good feature that takes people's names away and what you're doing. So here on the gray areas here, you can see that's me doing personal stuff, as you'll see over here on the Saturday there. One of the greatest features is with a mouse, you can easily, let me just grab this one here, add and move things as you need to. And if the appointment's gonna go a bit longer, you can drag it out. One thing I do need to add on there is something for myself. So here we have our new appointment screen. So here we can search for a client. Now, as soon as you enter a few letters, their names automatically propagate the field so you can easily click in and get to that comments and then you can select a service what you're doing for that person you can see we have a lot of services there and select a flag whether it's final appointment initial appointment or client portal booking so client portal bookings are these purple ones here and then it sends them a message which I'm not going to show you because it will show their name the day before sending them a text if they've got their mobile number in there just informing them that the appointment is tomorrow uh, so here personal this is also something else that we can do title i've got some coaching at four so i'm just going to save that and it'll automatically save a 30 minute slot for that if i wanted anything else i can do it at the time but if i again personal i can select the time up here so it makes it very very easy to put things in and same same with the clients or with a group setting as well if you've got a group thing so that's booking people in. Now, as far as things go, you've got all your tools, so your communication, some templates you can send, bulk send or MailChimp, note templates, form designer, so you can send forms. So when people log in or whatever and they're an initial client, you can send them a form to have in. You can export stuff to zero. So, because as, let's go here, new client, John Smith and his mobile number and his email if you've got that stuff so then I just want to move myself out a little bit here and I just want to put them in for one hour of medial massage I might actually have a John Smith that comes to me wow um, okay so here here you've got your invoicing options as well so you can get them to pay with whatever they want to pay with save that and it'll take that $80 fee off there so how much they're owing and then you can email them an invoice and it just comes up email is invalid or missing because we just created this non-existent person and it'll send them an email so great for their own records as well or if they want to claim through that email uh, but from there too you can show the appointment log notify them or send the notification to them. The notification won't be sent though because they don't have a mobile number in there. But here too, we can create a new note for this client. And this is, if I move myself back over here. So I uploaded this little image here because it's easy and with the pen thing. Normally I use my Surface Pro when I'm in the clinic and you can just draw and put X's, put lines to show what they're like so this is just how i do it you might have something totally different and more power to you add your own thing on there and then 
you've got a thing to put a session record for this person. So all body massage, tighten the glutes, hips are out of alignment or whatever you want to put in there for them. And then you can save it as a draft or save and complete. And then you can email that to someone as well. Or print it or upload files as well. So if they do come in with medical files, you can upload those. And then you've got all your correspondence and their forms, and their notes, billing, appointments, profile. It's all good. It's all very simple, very easy. Now, if I want to go out of this, changes might not be saved. Oops, so I do want to leave. And then because John Smith is not coming to me because he is made up, you can simply delete him. So you set up, you've got configuration, all the stuff for the users, services as well, is a very important one. Because you've got all your services and they're very easy to move here. So we can move them around and edit as well. So you just go in, edit, and then you can edit the price, which I have to do actually. So the cost would be 50 and the price is 50. So then I can save. Yes, update further. And then it's done. So then I can go through and do that for each and every service there, if I need to. Then you've got session packs, which is a big thing as well. Uh, so massage pack 10, this is something I'm only playing around with, but it will track that session. So if you put someone onto a session pack, it will count how many sessions they're having of that service. In this case, 10. You've got custom lists, your client portal, so there you can go in, you've got your portal URL name, you can copy that uh, and post it wherever you need to. I have it posted and pinned to the top of my Facebook business page because Facebook no longer actually has this as an option for what you do. It's a pain in the ass. Yes, they used to, but it seems they've only partnered with certain guys now. Uh, you can have your cancellation schedule, Earliest clients can make new appointments so you don't get any surprise appointments or anything. I might actually change that to six hours and just save that one. Item price listed, show invoices, show business name, all your stuff. Notifications, branding for your business so you can upload your little header up there as well. Then you've got credit card billing. So with these guys as well, they do actually now have integration with and Medi support so people can actually pay online for it. So you can get them, uh, get their details and send them through a thing so they can claim on the spot with an email. A little bit of a clunkier service than just having a having a terminal that does that or having to do them themselves, but it's an option if people really want to do that there. You've got all your reports as well. Tools, is that in tools? Oh, yeah, health point, Medicare, data export, so it does do all that sort of stuff as well. What's in people? Create, clients, contact, referrers, third parties and waitlist, and then your sales as well. So you can actually sell other products with Power Diary as well, if you really want to. I don't. We just have all our stuff that we do sell at the clinic. So when they're there, they can see it, and if they want it, yeah. And then there's help. But also, too, you can build your own client, or sorry, clinic paperwork all your pro policies and procedures through Power Diary. And then if you do want to leave, you can download that from there. They have an easy to use template that is one of their biggest features that they've just recently done as well. Uh, so you can see too in the setup of your subscription, your current plan, up to three practitioners. Currently as well, so we're looking about a hundred bucks a month for this because we use the three calendars. Uh, and then the extra text messages on top as well. So you pay about 22 cents per text message, which isn't a great deal, but it's also not great. It does add up. So you can see here we were paying right at the start when we got it for half price and then it goes up and up and I think they've increased their prices as well. So it's just one of those things. How much are you going to use it? And how much use are you going to get out of it? And how much value is it? For me, it's taken a lot of headache out of things. I get an email when someone books in telling me what time they're booked in and then I can easily have a look up here and I know these people in green are coming because they've confirmed it with their messages. And then you've got tasks up here as well. I don't know what that one does to be honest. It's something I haven't used or explored on it because it does enough for me. All my client notes, so there's a hell of a lot less paper being generated in our clinic because of this. 
But that is a basic look of Power Diary. I absolutely love it. It's something that I don't think our clinic would operate as well as it has been without, once again, because it's been such a handy tool for people to just book themselves in and the response that I had from clients on there as well about that. They absolutely love it. They absolutely think it's one of the easiest booking softwares that they've used to book in for themselves. They just go in, there's all the times available, they click that, bang, they're in. All their details are in there. And so you can capture some of those details as well if you want to put them into like MailChimp or whatever else as well. But that's about it with this one, guys. I really do recommend Power Diary. It seems like they're really trying to give you more value out of it as well. They're implementing and adding more things all the way through. And I think basically they need to because it is such a competitive market out there for these things as well nowadays. But that's Power Diary. A little bit of a brief walkthrough, talk through, how to set it up, what you can do with it. I would wholeheartedly recommend this for just about any sort of practitioner. They do support telehealth as well, so there's that in there as well. Uh, it is, it's been great. It's been a great little system and easy to use, easy to set up. Price is a bit expensive, but you get what you pay for, I think, with it with how easy it is to use as well. Some I've had a little bit of a demo with while looking at changing and I'm still here with Power Diary. So take that into consideration as well. But anyway guys, that's it for this one. I'm Rob Murphy and I'll see you in the next video.